Hello everyone! In today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create very simple but visually appealing liquid accordion effect by using just a few basic CSS rules. The final result can be seen on the screen right now and my goal is to demonstrate what exactly it takes to build identical accordion from the scratch. The training file, as usual, can be downloaded from the link in the description of this video free of any charges, but you can always make a donation if you like. So I'm going to start with a three column setup and build everything I need in the very first column only. After that I'll simply multiply the first column and make a few required adjustments across the column duplicates. Why do I need three columns? Well, I just want to be as close as possible to the final column width, so these two remaining columns are nothing but my dummy columns. I'll remove them later on anyway. My first step is to add the custom class name to the column. This is how I'm going to refer that very column in my custom CSS code and in the same time this is how I can avoid the CSS code being applied to any other column in editor. Any other column but the one with the custom class name. So the custom class name will be the liquid column. I also want to define the vertical position of the column content so from the layout tab and the namesake panel layout I'll choose middle as an option. Next I'm gonna add the background image to the column. More precisely it's gonna be the background overlay image. But if I want to be able to add the background overlay to the column, I have to define the background type first, so I'll choose Classic. As you can see, the background overlay panel is now visible. It wasn't there prior to the background type selection. Not sure why is that so in Elementor if you ask me, but I hope it's going to be fixed soon. As for the image, I'll use the Portrait Format image, because that's the shape of all images being part of the accordion itself, so it's more natural to use the Portrait Format. But, but it's not a must, of course. One important setting that relates to the background image size is cover. It has to be the cover because that's how the image always fills up the column entirely, regardless the column size and shape. Now I just need to add some content to the column. It can be anything you like, but for the purpose of this tutorial and for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna add a title, some text and the button. As you were able to see at the beginning, the content is supposed to be hidden initially and show up or fade in on mouse over. And I'll handle the visibility in my custom CSS code. You're gonna see how exactly in just a minute. What I need to do next is to decrease the background image contrast when mouse is over the column because there's a great chance for the readability issue. I can do that by going to the style tab, then the background overlay panel and now I'm gonna switch to the hover settings because this is hover related, hover event related setting okay and I'll set the opacity to 30% or 0.3 because of the fact that the page background is white and my image is now transparent or semi transparent the readability became even worse that's why I'll add the dark background color to fix it so I'm not using any filter to change the image contrast, I'm emulating the contrast. Alrighty, the hover effect is done. Finally, let's add some padding to the column itself in order to keep the content off the column borders. I'll use the padding of, let's say, 50 pixels on each side. Now before I get to the CSS, I'll remove my two dummy columns and multiply the first column three times. That's how I'll end up with the four columns accordion. It can be more, it can be less, whatever you prefer. The most likely you'll be limited with the horizontal space, especially on a smaller viewport, so you'll have to find the balance between the number of items and the amount of content. However, you can always stack accordions one on top of another and maybe create some kind of the liquid accordions grid. It's just an idea. At the end, I'm going to replace the background image in a column duplicate because it's kind of stupid to keep identical images, identical image across all the columns. And if you wonder why am I using the background overlay instead of the background image only, well, it's simply because the background overlay can be manipulated like an object. I'm able to resize it and change the position, and that's exactly what, what I'm going to need later. You'll see what I mean. Okay, now that I have everything ready, let's do the CSS. First of all, I'm not going to bind my CSS code to any particular element or the widget. I'll rather make it more general and thus reusable across the entire page. 
So I'm going to click the page settings icon and use the custom CSS panel of the currently edited page. My CSS code is supposed to handle two major tasks, so to speak. The first one is to show and hide the accordion item content, while the second one should handle the column width. Both of these are triggered by the mouse over event. Let's handle the appearance of the accordion item content. The very first rule will keep the column content hidden, or better say, fully transparent. Here it is, I'm just going to do copy paste. Liquid column is the custom class name of the column itself, as you already know, and the Elementor widget wrap is the outermost wrapper of the column content. So if I make that wrapper fully transparent, every child element will be transparent too. The next rule is meant to make the column content non-transparent on mouse over event. So here it is. In this CSS rule, and beside making the content opacity back to 100%, I'm adding a little animation to the opacity in order to make it fade in slowly rather than just an instant visibility switch, okay? And if I give it a shot, you can see how it works. Alrighty, let's handle the column resize now. Here's my CSS code, part number one. So first and foremost, I have to make the column height fixed, otherwise it'll wiggle all over the place. 500 pixels should be enough here, but if you are dealing with more content, increase to whatever you find suitable. The column also must be overflow hidden. Why? Because that's exactly what creates our perfectly smooth liquid effect. Try to remove overflow hidden, save, go back to front end, refresh the page, and check all out if you don't believe me. Okay? The flex property must be set to 1. That's the CSS property that will make our column expand horizontally in the next step. But initially, it should be 1, which means that the available horizontal space should be divided evenly across our 4 columns, or 5, or 6, whatever. And the transition is here to animate the column width, or the flex property itself. Without an animation, you can forget about that liquid effect, because the width change would happen instantly. And let me now add the last required CSS rule before I test the liquid accordion. So this one says that whenever I do the mouse over the column, the column itself should grow. You may think that it should grow three times its size, but it's not really the case. It's rather about handling the remaining space inside the container, so it's more technical. But the point here is that the greater the flex number, the wider will be the column. Just give it a shot. And if I now test our liquid accordion, everything should be working as expected. So let's see. Okay, everything is just fine. However, we have to check how things work in responsive mode too. So let's see the tablet first. Of course, we are now dealing with less horizontal space, but overall, everything looks fine. It's all good. Now let's see what's going on if using mobile device. Obviously, with the viewport size that big, everything should be set in a vertical mode. However, the vertical mode requires totally different approach, different CSS code, and the most important, landscape format images. It's a totally different story. So I'll rather disable my CSS code for any device whose screen size is too small to make things fit properly. And I'm going to do that by using the media query, like this. I'm going to wrap all up with the media query, okay? So by using that media query clause, it's a clause, it's a condition, I actually made all the CSS rules unavailable for any screen size smaller than 768 pixels. As simple as that. And why 768 pixels? Because we have to respect Elementor's responsive breakpoints. That's why. At the end, I just have to adjust the top padding of my columns and take care about the readability. So remember when I said that I'll rather use the background overlay image rather than just the background image? Well, here's why. The problem of readability can be resolved by pushing the image above the text. So with the column being highlighted, I'll select the Style tab. I'm going to expand the background overlay panel. Scroll a little bit down. And I'm going to enable the overlays extension. And with the overlays extension, I'm going to set the background overlay height to 300 pixels, okay? And in the same time, I'll increase the top padding of the column for 300 pixels. So I'll go to the Advanced tab, I'm gonna unlink 
the, the, the padding settings and increase the top padding to 350 pixels. And now I just have to do that for each and every color. On a side note, I wanted to mention that the overlays extension is a part of the Steroids for Elementor add-on which can be downloaded for free from the official WordPress plugins repository. The link can be found in the description of this video. What I'm doing now with the background overlay is not a must. You might come up with a different readability solution. However, I go for this one because I found it to be the simplest one. Maybe only the text shadow can work for you. Maybe you'd rather like to add the background to the heading widget. I don't know. The point is that there's always more than just one solution to the problem. And that's pretty much it. Our liquid accordion is done. And it looks really nice. I hope that you enjoyed this video. The new one is yet to come. At the end, I can only say thanks for the support. Peace and love.